This video talks about how to stand when you play trombone. The same principles apply to standing as they do to sitting. As I said in the sitting video, I like the word balance as opposed to the word posture because balance is an internal lively sensation. It's not the stagnant holding of a position. And with the word balance, we're allowing our bones to hold us up in order to counteract the effects of gravity, which means we need very little muscular effort to hold ourselves up. There's some involved, but if we minimize that muscular effort required just to hold ourselves up, then we have that muscular effort available to create resonance, which I like. So when we're standing, our weight is being delivered once again through our bony structures, this time all the way to the floor as opposed to the chair on our rockers. If I turn to the side, you can imagine a plumb line, which is uh, a string or a rope that they might use in a construction site. And you'd hold the string up here and put a weight at the bottom so that there's a perfect straight line in cooperation with gravity. We have a similar line in our bodies that we can imagine in order to help us understand balance. And if you could imagine a plumb line going down the side of my body, you could kind of see a straight line, even though there are curves along the way, there is kind of a central point around which my body is organized. We want to retain that idea as we put the instrument up and manipulate the slide. Here's a very common thing that happens among trombone players. If I get my plumb line squared away and I'm organized well, then I put my instrument up, watch what I do with my head, if you look closely you'll see that I pitched my head forward in order to meet the mouthpiece this is important because when you do this it throws off your whole body the organization of the body around the plumb line so I like the idea of keeping the head balanced atop the spine and if you know what a bobblehead doll is that works pretty well if I were to be a bobblehead then I'd have this kind of motion in my head and when I can do that then I know my neck is free which is a pretty good sign that I'm balanced along the plumb line if I do it right I'll turn to the side and balance myself along the plumb line and this time I'll bring the instrument directly to my face and when I do that then I have freedom of motion throughout my body there's another very common mistake that trombone players will make, and I call this the classic butt tuck. And it looks like this. <clears throat> if I get organized around the plumb line and I'm balanced, and um, when I put the instrument up, of course trombones are somewhat front heavy because of the slide, watch this area of my body and where my hips are when I put the horn up. So I'm tucking inward here in order to counteract the weight of the slide. That's certainly understandable, but when I do that, after a while, my lower back really starts to hurt because suddenly those muscles are engaged, my knees are locked, and all kinds of things can go wrong. So if I tuck and then I come out of it, it looks like that. It's a pretty subtle motion. And if you're accustomed to being tucked like this, then coming out of it, will make you feel like you're about to fall forward. But what it really means is that now, instead of tucked, you're actually balanced along the plumb line. And you can see the difference there. Now again, this does redistribute the weight, and it feels very different in my body, but now I'm balanced, and I feel like I can kind of spring on my, on my knees, and I have movement available in any direction, which is a very nice feeling. If I'm tucked, I'm pretty much locked down. I can't really do much of anything. And if I come out of it, I have much better freedom of motion like this. So um, the message with this video is the same as the one you know, for sitting, and that is be balanced. Try the word balance on instead of the word posture and see how it treats you.